Hello, Brazilian beauties. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say a huge welcome to you as well. Now, today is going to be a different video. This is a wig tag video, which is a collaboration with your favorite wig gurus here on YouTube. I was tagged in this video by the Hearts and Cake 90, aka Brittany, also takes pink and eye all day. So I want to say thank you to these beautiful ladies for tagging me in this collaboration. So let's get into this video. From what I understand, a wig tag is is a series of questions that we get and we will answer them so that you can be better informed on what we're all about or a little bit more in depth on who we are. This is my first wig tag. As their videos come available, I will link them down in the description box with their channel or with the video. So don't forget to check that out. And let's get into these questions. The first question is, when and why did you start wearing wigs? So I started wearing wigs back in 2006 when I moved to Maryland with my husband and my two children. And the reason why is because it became too hard for me to keep up the maintenance with my weaves. And there were like no hair stores down there where we were located down in Frederick, Maryland. Like there was like deserted. And the demographic, if you know what I mean, is different. So next question is, what was the first wig you ever reviewed? And it was the Free Trust Tilly. The next question is, how many wigs do you currently own? I currently own, I don't know. <laughs> like, I have so many wigs. Before I even started YouTube, I owned well over 100 wigs. Like, I literally had a closet, duffel bag, stash under the beds of wigs and hair. So, as of right now, I literally lost count. I know that's bad, but keep in mind that I switch out my hair very frequently, and it's part of my profession as well, so... I have to keep on point with mine. Next question is short, medium, or long wigs? Honestly, I don't really have a preference. I guess it depends on my mood. It's like a mood ring for me. It depends on how I'm feeling, and that's what I rock. Or it depends on what I'm rocking as far as clothes-wise, and that's what I'll rock. As far as short, I really don't care for short, short, like pixie cut wigs like that because I do have a rounded face, but I will rock them. Do you prefer a bold or conservative color? Personally, I love me some bold, colors so the next question favorite wig brand i honestly don't have a favorite wig brand what's the worst wig you've ever tried my worst wig i ever tried was isis red carpet premiere 298 catwalk four that shit excuse my language was pretty bad i feel like somebody played in it and just threw it in the bag and sent it to me and i also did review that one so you can check that video out where do you purchase most of your wigs from mine would be elevated styles you fuzzy and go beauty Mainly right now, I just purchased from Go Beauty. How does your significant other feel about you wearing wigs? Honestly, my husband loves me wearing wigs. He looks like he gets a different girl every damn day. So he likes it. He met me like this. I've always been on a switch up game since I was in high school. Any crazy situation with a wig company? I had actually two. So the first one, I did a wig that I paid for. It got a lot of views, so the company ended up reaching out to me the next day, and I did a couple reviews for them. Me personally, I'm very opinionated. I've always been that way. The last one, I really wasn't feeling. So when I told you guys my honest opinion, I guess they didn't care for that honest opinion. And instead of taking it with a grain of salt, they just pretty much disappeared out of my emails and everything else so they stopped working with me because of my honest review which is fine with me uh, it's no sweat off my back because i was buying my wigs before and i was continue to buy them afterwards another one was with a chinese company recently the wig was horrible like it, it said it was human it wasn't human it was a bob cut then i put up the review they wanted to see it before i had publicly posted it and i was like sure so i sent them a link they never responded so that i put my time and work into that paid my coins like when it comes to my makeup and stuff like that that's not cheap i posted a video about two days later contacting me saying that they didn't realize that the video was gonna be bad can i remove the video i said no bye bye i will not remove a video for no one top three favorite wigs of all time the nova selfie by zuri bobby boss emma and bobby boss liner if you had a wig that embodied you what would it look like it would look like this right here because this colorway is fire like you get you guys know how much i love pink this is a rose gold unit 
and yeah this is just i found myself i found me this embodies me what do you think of the wig community on youtube and online in general see i'm fairly new to the wig community both here on youtube and on social media in general i only started getting into the wig groups on facebook in the last couple months so I'm a newbie at that. Before that, I was just getting on here, do my reviews and bounce. So I'm still feeling my way around, but as far as the people I come in contact with, I feel like they've been super supportive. As far as the online wig community in general, there's a lot of people, so kind of can get lost if you're not staying up with the trends or if you're not continuing to recreate your channels, you can kind of get lost in that whole community. And I feel like there should be more support from each other. Even though we are to point each other now, I think there should be even more support as far as us getting recognition there are a few companies but very few companies that have went the, a little bit of an extra mile to invite us to like different events because i've been to some i've been to some events i've been to some meetings where they want to get our opinion and our feedback so i just wish it was all across the board with these american hair with companies and show us more support and more love maybe send us care packages or pr packages with respect to what we do here on youtube and on our channels and on social media in general just as these makeup companies through these huge collaborations with these beauty gurus and they you know have a palette named after them or a beauty collaboration with them these wig companies could step up their game and do that as well with us wig and hair reviewers and come up with a line or a collaboration that embodies us or have our name stamped on it with the maybe a possibly a wig named after us so that that would be a dope collaboration i would love to see one of these companies step up and do that we do generate for the most part for these companies Companies, revenue for them however big or small so why not pay homage to us then to come out with a line geared or based on your favorite YouTube guru or wig reviewer so I think that's another dope concept so I hope these companies are watching these wig tags and getting our perspective on what we feel about the hair community in general unlike the beauty gurus or the beauty community they actually have like events that they actually put together to show solidarity i think the wit tag is a great start but i think we need to do more if we can if it's possible you know maybe more collabs it doesn't have to be a collab it can be like an event that where we come together and show our followers our subscribers we're all about we're about community we're about lifting each other up i think that would be a great idea for all of us to do i'm pretty sure there are some youtube gurus or youtube wig reviewers or hair reviewers that have their own line of wigs but I wish that these major hair companies would collaborate with us as what the makeup companies do with the makeup community so I think that would be a fun thing to see and hopefully that will come to flourish maybe sometime in the future I would like to tag some more dope wig slayers here on YouTube Jade Gabrielle Meek Fro Ebony Eyes also fashionable 805 simply Wendy and Nikki Nick 26 I hope will participate in this wig tag and if you want to participate as well i'll leave all the questions in the description box so don't forget to check that out and let me know what you guys think and answer some of these questions so i can get to know you a little bit more as well i want to say a huge thank you to the hearts and cake 90 for putting this together i think this is super dope i hope you do some more of these and i'm glad that you get to know some of your favorite groups a little bit more don't forget to subscribe and also check out these ladies subscribe to them as well follow me on instagram at annette beauty and check out my facebook group visionaries of beauty stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty till next time bye